feeling a little tight. It's not leg day, but I woke up this morning and my calf was just like and I was uh, limping around for a solid hug. Hmm. He got the cramp in the leg. Where'd he go? There he is. There. Oh, there he is. Uh, yep, yep. So we got a new pre-workout. That guy. That 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 guy. Uh, this guy. Uh, bought some new pre-workout. Yeah, which uh, come to find out, it wasn't this kind. Of. Come to find out, it wasn't this kind. Of. Anyway, it's arm day, and this free workout's great, so we're gonna do stuff and things, and that's my new thing that I made. We'll for, find out how it works here in a minute. It's for triceps, it's a, it's a, in beta testing right now, it's a, <laughs> beta testing? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a cheaply put together, cheap rope wrapped in duct tape, and yeah, it works good. I'll do another video of how to make one. Or I might just keep it to myself, I don't know yet. Alright, so after a minute of checking their website, I th might be user error. If not, we're gonna get our f***ing refund. Calm down. What do we call this book? I don't remember, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you call them? <sighs> Tricep super extensions. Super extensions, there we go. Tricep super extensions. I think people would get a little confused with calling tricep extended extensions. Extended extensions. Ex extended extensions. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah, these pretty much suck. Whoa. Yeah. It feels good. <sighs> it feels good. My bum holes at you. Alright, so there was a dumbbell tricep extension that uh, we seen a YouTuber do. And uh, you basically were supposed to lay down on the bench with your chest. And then come up with your triceps. But you were supposed to go a little further. Because whenever you go a little further, you not only get the contraction here, but then you get it up here, so with the whole thing right there. Yeah. And I was uh, on the, the porcelain throne and come up with this contraption uh, in my head. And then over the weekend, I was like, well, screw it, I'll make a uh, El Cheapo for right now. Now your traditional traditional tricep extension ropes, tri tricep pushdowns, uh, all I could find on the internet was 26, 27 inch, and then 36 inch. Which 36 inches is only 3 foot. And I was like, 3 foot isn't enough for you to fully extend your arm and pull back like with the dumbbells so I went to tractor supply and picked up a five foot section of rope it was just real cheap 99 cents a foot and uh, just to try it out I wrapped it in duct tape and uh, yeah I don't even know what you call that but I made a clamp for it with another carabiner so that way you can just snap it onto your cable machine. But the point of this, unlike a tricep, you know, push down, you're supposed to get to here and then try to spread it apart to get full contraction. With this, you can get full contraction and go up and get the upper part just like with the dumbbells. I 
I just realized something. We're the only ones here. We're the only ones here on arm day. <laughs> I bet you everybody's gonna show up on like that. He had something in his beard. What happened to my beard? Here. Anyway, so uh, I like to do arm day um, specifically just because um, one, it can really help you focus on just your arms, but it um, allows yourself to kind of focus on critiquing, I guess, critiquing what you know you're you're making up for in other lifts. Um, like Gage, he's using more of his triceps whenever he's doing bench, and his tricep is a little messed up right now so it's hard for him to do bench so if we focus on triceps and do different ranges of triceps trying to focus on the whole thing then that's going to help his bench go up uh, you know we're not doing strongman stuff right now but we're going we're, we're wanting to and bicep curls is going to be able to help us for like um, log you know picking the log up I mean picking it up off the ground you're gonna be using your a lot of your biceps and your chest whenever you get it up to here to press so I love I mean that and I don't know I just like doing arms so <laughs> We haven't recorded very much this week. Yeah, yesterday we kind of just did our stuff and we did we did like did kind of angry and shoulders and I've not been here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's free free for all Friday. And, oh, it, it, yeah, you all right there? Yeah, my ears look funny. They're very green. Yeah, they are very green. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hulk. All right. So we're just gonna do random. And, yeah, I'm gonna be working on my boxing, my grappling, which Randy, you're gonna come to Andy today, and uh, some MMA stuff. Look at this dynamic camera work. Wow. <laughs> Drone shots in the garage. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. 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 <laughs> God, what are you doing with Randy? I'm about to beat him up, man. I missed. Not Randy, no. He was just a boy. Rainy has very stiff arms. You seen this
Still got snow. We, we usually don't do a whole lot of, uh, like, what, what we do in a day. So, I guess this is more of a, this is a, is, is it a vlog? I don't know, is this considered a vlog? I don't know. We, we talk to you guys about stuff we do when we're not doing lifting stuff. I guess that would be a vlog, whatever. Anyway. We had to work uh, an extra day this week, so in order to get through Survive Friday, we're going to have to go and get some more food and drinks and stuff to make it through the week. And I don't really talk about a whole lot of meal prep or any of that because to each their own and eat what you want, I guess. But uh, my meal prep usually consists of a lot of uh, chicken wraps and like chicken salad, just stuff that I could keep cool at work in my lunchbox. John eats leftovers from the night before or whatever he finds tasty at work. So. I don't do meal prep. He don't do meal prep. <laughs> uh, I just do meal prep because it cuts down on a lot of my time. Uh, very busy. Six dogs, wife. Uh, not a whole lot of time to, you know, make make food every day for work because we work uh, 45 minutes away from the house and so that's an hour and a half worth of drive time, you know, eight and a half hours there, come home, lift, make food, eat, sleep, shower, all that fun stuff. So today it's cold and nasty, so... It's our one day off. Gonna try to get a combination of uh, a few adult things and relax time. Whoever said the groundhog didn't see a shadow is a damn liar. It's still snowy. It's still shitty. This weather sucks. Why do we live in Indiana, bub? Oh, you know, born and raised. We like the corn, I guess. Yeah. Um, Got a little cornfields. Most, mostly because family. That, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of cheap to live here for the most part. That's true. And who doesn't enjoy experiencing the four wonders the earth has to offer us. It gets hotter than hell one minute and then fucking freezing the next. That's Indiana. It's just bipolar weather and corn. I feel like there's something else that's usually here that isn't in most places. Um, uh, I have no idea. I was going to say an overabundance of liquor stores, but I think it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is our usual, uh, weekend adventure. Um, every, we get paid bi-weekly, so every two weeks we go to the Gittin place and we buy groceries and stuff like that to last for two weeks at a time, so, yay, money management. I just realized, you're basically the Juju Mufu of this channel, I'm Tom, I'm usually the one holding the camera. Well, I mean, <clears throat> it's kind of hard for me to camera and Yeah. Drive. <laughs> Turn on your headlights. It's nasty out, bro. People can't see you driving like an asshole. <laughs> I have, I have the rage of the road. <laughs> I think we both do. It's gotten better since I've been on, uh, been on my medication, so. Yeah. I've been a lot more chill lately. Smash that like button for road rage.
getting getting more caffeine. I'm in the store recording. Yes. Is that bad? I don't know. I don't we're, think so. We're not gonna name brand. We'll just call it the grocery store. So uh, I got Pepsi. Probably not a very healthy option, but no. sometimes I like to take. I did not put this here. You just made it look nice. Yeah, I made it look nice. It's trying to blend in. Yeah. Well, we made it out of the grocery store. And I bought us a little something weird. Oxygenated natural recovery water. Because apparently, oxygen infused water. Yeah, seven times more oxygen than tap water. Seven times more oxygen than tap water. Well, Bubba, you want to give us a quick review of your new tasty beverage? Kind of tastes like I'm drinking an orange. Is that good or bad? Uh, it tastes like an actual orange. <laughs> Very strange. It's kind of like if you just peeled an orange and threw it in some water. <laughs> it tastes like a real fucking orange. I don't taste the oxygen though. So we're done with our grocery shopping escapade. Yeah, it was not very eventful. Nah, uh, we basically just wanted to top ourselves up on different stuffs. I bought Pepsi and some burgers because we have off days and a burger sounds good on an off day. Well, unless you want it tonight. Uh, I have no idea. I did not make any plans to cook anything tonight specifically, so uh, burgers, we can do burgers. Basically it'll be up to Lindsay. Yeah. Okay. Yay! I miss you,